Hello YouTubers, Manny here from Manny's How To Workshop with another video showing you guys uh, me making a couple of burgers on my griddle that in uh, previous videos you saw me make and you saw me season and then you saw me uh, make the first meal that I did with it which was a uh, breakfast. So in the last video I mentioned to you guys also that I had bought a kit from Amazon uh, this kit right here uh, which goes with the griddle so the first thing you're gonna get is this dome right here that you're gonna use when you wanna melt cheese or you wanna keep uh, create more heat on anything that you're cooking it's a 12 inch so this can cover probably like four burgers uh, you know nice piece of steak uh, if you're making like like I said steak them shredded steak all right it also came with this press this uh, steak and burger press this is eight inches uh, long 40 inches wide it's got some weight to it it's cast nice little wooden handle um, and here's that little egg uh, what do you call it mold that I was telling you about let me get it out of the bag so you can see it better there you go just a little handle that comes up like this and so you put that on the griddle and then you crack your egg right into that makes a star they have other ones too uh, that you can uh, that you know some other kits they come with and then it also came with these uh, kitchen thongs all right um, and I got all this for like 21 bucks okay so that's the kit uh, like I said and right now, I got my uh, grill heating up. I got the griddle heating up. As you can see, the temperature on this right here says about a little over 200, almost 250. And the reason for that is because I'm only using the left side. Left side is, seems to be the higher temperature side. It creates more heat. I'm also on high right now. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it down to medium on my knob I don't know if you guys can see right there okay so right there I'm on high but I'm gonna go ahead and put it down on medium right there because I already checked the surface of the griddle I'm gonna go ahead and open this like I said I already checked the surface and it was registering like 300 between 300 and 325 on the left side and about 2 225 on the right side because this thing is so thick the metal is it's going to spread that heat uh, evenly also I'm at the front of my garage where the front half of the grill is on the lower part of the driveway and the back side is on the, the higher part so to give me a little pitch uh, towards the front all right so here's my I'm going to make two burgers like I said it's my two buns two slices of cheese um, I'm also going to toast these on the uh, cooler side here's my two burgers right there which I took out of the freezer yesterday so they would be uh, defrosted by today and today's temperature outside is probably close to 90 degrees all right so here's a way you can check to see if the grill is ready to go take a little drop of water as you can see the water instantly balled up and evaporated so that lets you know that it's ready to go I'm just gonna go grab some salt and pepper to season my uh, burgers and I'll be right back all right you guys I went ahead and got my uh, my pepper just a little pepper shaker you can see right there and decided to go with the garlic salt give a little extra zing to my burgers all right so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open and go ahead and put these burgers down on the left side over there. And I will season those um, when they start uh, getting moist on the top and these burgers I believe were either 80 20s 
or 7525. So in order to keep some of that heat in there, I can do this, or I can go ahead and grab my my um, my dome. Oh, I got my spatula. <laughs> Uh, I can see already the fat is already rendering off the burgers. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm gonna rest that right there. Let me go ahead and tent that real quick. Yeah, the dome has these tiny little holes right here in the front. And right there where my finger's pointing at. So I don't know if that's for, uh, what do you call it? Oh, uh, you can see the smoke coming out. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and season these now. Oh, there we go. Well, that's actually working pretty good. So a little pepper. Right there. Not too much pepper. Pepper's good for you. Pe pepper helps to uh, burn some calories. Alright. There you go. That's that side. So, I'm going to go ahead and check the burgers. Because at this temperature, believe it or not, uh, let me grab my thermometer real quick. Get a Oh, 420, 385, so yep, so I can bring that down to medium low, because you don't want them to sear too much, I mean, yeah, it's cooking quick, so. oh yeah, there you go, go ahead and season this side real quick. Actually, you know what? This dome is excellent because when you dome it, it keeps the splatter from going everywhere. Which, that's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and get these buns pre-warmed over here on this side and then when the burgers are done which I like my burgers medium well I'll slide the burgers over to that warm side and put the buns on the other side soak up some of that juice and at the same time gets toasted a little bit and then I'll go ahead and put the cheese on the burgers and tent those to get a quick melt, but at the rate that the temperature is out here, that cheese is already getting soft. <laughs> that is crazy. All right. Oh yeah, that, I can see now some of that rendered fat is coming off draining off of this side right here and like I said as long as there we go I can move these burgers to the front let them continue cooking because the front's going to be a, a little less in temperature you know what let me go ahead and do this look at that scoop both of them bad boys up <laughs> Same thing with this one. Get, get back over there. Just put that over there. Like I said, I can leave the burgers in the front where it's not as hot. And get these buns down there. Like that. But, 
Yeah. So this guy actually stay right there. And I believe my burgers are exactly where they need to be. Yep. Man, I remember when I was going through boot camp and it was burger day. We had burger day. Man, the guy had a huge grill. Probably like four times the size of this griddle. And he would have like a bunch of the burgers lined up already. And like half would be already like flipped over halfway. The other half was like that. So if you wanted burgers, you have to wait in line longer. But at the same time, uh, you didn't have much time to eat. What did I do with the pan? Boy, I got that can just in time. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but all that rendered fat is already going down the trough and it's coming out over here to the can right there that I just put right there. All right. Oh, yeah. These buns are looking woo, caliente. Yep. Nice one. All right. So let's go ahead and get this cheese on there just like that. Voila. Now, in as much heat that it is that this has on it right now, probably don't need to slide these bad boys back over there. I'm gonna go ahead and just temp this for like two seconds. Got my plate ready over here. Let me see. The bottoms. Oh yeah. Look at that toasting, guys, on those buns. Awesome. Whoop. All right. Look at that. Not even two seconds. Yep. The tops are looking good. So I'm pretty much gonna go ahead and. Get that right there. Set that up on my plate. Go ahead and take this off. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now, oh, come on. I know. This plate's not big enough. There we go. Go ahead and turn this off. And then turn this off, the tank off. Huh. Now the only thing missing, is, of course, I need to put the... Leave that there. I need to go ahead and take this inside and go dress it with my uh, mustard ketchup, some relish, but uh, yeah. And then like I said, now the grill is hot, so it'll be good, good time to go ahead and scrape it. While everything's still soft, you know, just scrape everything down to here, like this. Get all those bits right there. So eventually, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and scrape that down. Like I said, the more it gets used, the more it's gonna season, and then it'll all be, be good to go. But like I said, this thing holds heat for so long because it's you know, it's really thick metal. All 
wrap. Let's leave that right there. All right, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And don't forget to always hit the bell notification button so that you get uh, notifications for new and uploaded videos. Thank you, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.